Hi everyone, this is Jolie Boucher and today I'm here to show you how you can use Google Drawings to create a word sort and how you could share that with students. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google Drive and you're going to select New, go down to More and select Drawings. This will open up Google Drawings. Now you can use a template such as this one or you could have students create their own templates. Either way would work just fine. Now here's a template I created and you are free to use. What I would do is I would either type in the word sort number and the pattern and the headers and write all the words myself or if you're working with students at an older level maybe they could complete everything themselves okay so let's say you were going to complete this for a younger crew you could type in the word sort number you could type in the pattern And then you could type in the header. So let's say for your first header, you want to use words that start with MIS, okay? Your second header, maybe you're working with words that start with DIS. Maybe here you're working with words that start with UN. And finally, maybe we have words that start with RE. Okay, from here, you're going to create your words. So you're going to type in all your words, or you're going to have the students type in their words. Okay, and you can have them make the tile a little bit larger if it does not fit the word okay so maybe your second word please and you're going to continue when you're finished you're going to share your sort now you could do that using google classroom you could create a qr code you could bookmark the sort in your browser or on your desktop whatever works for you and your students and when they receive the sort they are then going to click on the tile and drag it under the appropriate header The great thing about this is they can print the sort, they can take it home, they can record using Screencastify so you have their thinking recorded and that's wonderful because then parents will be able to hear their thinking as well and maybe they'll be able to understand the sort if they hear the student thinking because I know sometimes it's difficult for parents to understand what the activity is all about. So I hope you enjoyed learning how Google Drawings can help you share sorts and create sorts to use with your students.